2009 Land Rover Defender. So being a later car, this is the 2.4 litre TDCI model. 110, as you can see. Um, this one has been professionally converted into a camper in the back, which we'll show you in a second. But we'll start by having a look at the bodywork. As you can see, it's been spruced up slightly, so it's on saw tooth alloys with uh, BF Goodrich all-terrain tires all around. It's got a nice snorkel on there, gloss black roof. Um, it's got the checker plate, all the usual bits and bobs that you want to see on one of these. Um, let's start by having a look at the bodywork. On this driver's front wing, got a little bit of a dent just here. You can see that slightly in the camera and a slight scuff there, which actually that looks like it would wipe off, so ignore that one. Inside this seam all the way along is nice and clean and tidy. If you look underneath the checker plate or around the edge of the checker plate, sorry, you can see it is nice and tidy. There's no rust or any corrosion bubbling up through there. Checker plate itself is nice and tidy. Rest of this wing is all good. Plastic trim's nice and clean. It's not dried out or covered in back to black or anything like that. Um, like I say, it's on sawtooth Defender wheels um, in gloss black, which are in lovely condition, as you can see. And then it's got some good BF Goodrich all-terrain tires on there, loads of tread left in those. Have a little look underneath from there as well. You can see the chassis wheel all nice and clean and tidy in there. You can see it's all back with the floor plan and everything. All nice and tidy. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, if we're being really picky, fixings on the uh, snorkel could do with being cleaned off and refinished. Um, just want some stainless steel ones on it. It's all nice and clean on the snorkel itself. Which is a really nice proper bit of kit. Along the front panel here again, somewhere you want to check out on a Defender around the hinges and all that sort of stuff. It's lovely and clean on this one all the way along. As is the top of the windscreen, the roof could do with a good wipe down, which we'll do. Coming down the driver's side, and again, the same problem for the fixings on the door hinge. They want replaced with stainless ones or painted over because um, they always just go a little bit ginger. Um, but the hinges themselves are nice. Driver's door is nice and tidy. Glass is all clear. Wing mirror is good. And you've got the rock slider style steps. Again, in nice condition, lovely and sturdy. If they can take my weight, they can take just about anything. Lovely and clean under there, as you can see, all the way along. No sign of any corrosion popping up around this uh, checker plate on the sill as well. We can get the camera in there behind. And have a good look at that, all the way along. Continuing our way down this side, this panel has some sort of swirly scratches in it, as you can see. So a good polish would make a big difference. And there is a very small dent just here, you can see on the camera there. Plastics on the rear, arch are nice and tidy. Another good wheel and tire. Can have another look inside there again. It is lovely and clean underneath, as you can see. A good look on the back side of that section, which again is a normal bit of a rust trap. This one's all good. Then looking back up here, you can see it's generally pretty straight. There's just the odd tiny little parking ding here and there. As you'd expect around the filler area that's all good a little bit of paint flake on the checker plate on the back here uh, and a little mark just here you can see on the camera if we move it around coming around on the back all this trim nice and tidy normally the paint's flaking off those on both sides as you can see it's good all the tail lights indicators all that sort of stuff all nice and tidy roof sectional on the back is good as are these panels and the actual boot door itself Got a fifth matching sawtooth, again, a lovely gloss back. There's no marks on these at all, they're really good. And a brand new BF Goodridge tyre. Got the uh, adjustment plates and everything for the tail bar. The tail bar itself is not fitted. You can buy them from Bear Mac or just about anywhere you want. And it's got the uh, fixings for the electrics, but it doesn't have any in. Nice and clean under the back end there, as you can see. I'll show you the camp a bit in a second. Keep going around. There's a couple of little dings on the panel section. Again, it's covered in these sort of swirls. I'm guessing it's from sort of hedges or something like that, sort of brushing along the side of it, but it does look like it will polish out. A little bit of paint flake on the checker plate on the rear quarter. Plastics on this side are just as good as is the wheel and tire. You can have another look underneath from here. Nice and clean. It's not completely caked in under seal like a lot of them are. Get a good look at everything under there as well. Again, the steps on this side, nice and solid. Passenger door, nice and tidy. And again, if we pop that open, you can see there's no corrosion of any form coming through that checker plate. Nice and clean on the glass. And then round onto this side, tombstones. Got a little bit of paint flake on them. On this one, other side's good. But other than that, all good. No corrosion coming through. This lip's nice and sharp all the way around. And again, fixings on this side, a little bit ginger, but they want 
cleaned off and refinished or replaced but the actual hinges themselves the important bits and this this panel are all good front wing another little ding just here but nothing major you actually have to get right close to see it and then inside here okay nice and tidy another clean tidy arch and another good wheel and tire round up the front we've got a little ding just above the light there all the lights themselves are all good and tidy bumper's nice and straight grill's clean and tidy as well uh, bonnet does have some scratches some of those look like they polish out some don't some will look a little bit deeper um obviously being the tdci you get the uh bulge in the bonnet as well to take the new engine going around on the interior nice and tidy on that door card a little bit of a split in the uh base of the seat um, and again if you go to uh people like exmoor or bearmac they can do you the covers for these these are just covers they're dead easy to replace not like on a normal car obviously land rovers they're meant to be a bit more repairable replaceable if you like Fifty-one thousand miles on this one so it's done no real mileage at all nice and tidy on that steering wheel on the interior sort of center center, center section sorry no real wear on the gear stick and again this one being a later it's got that desirable six speed so you can actually take it on the motorway without it revving its nuts off heated rear screen fog lights and it does have a jvc aftermarket stereo in there other than that nice and clean there's no funny smells it's not dirty or anything like that any ingrained dirt will open the bottom while we're in there no sign of any trap moisture or anything we'll do the passenger seat and then we'll go and have a look at the back so in here again nice and clean on the door card all your tool kits and everything are there bottle jack wheel braces all that sort of stuff's present in there no real sign of any wear at all on the on the passenger seat nice and tidy this side of the dash is all good as well and then your headlining nice and clean and tidy no sign of any real stains or dirt or anything in that now in the back doors nice and light as well there's no clicks or damage from the hinges um there has been a little bit of a repair done here I'm guessing it's been shut on something at some point uh, and what we'll do is we'll start by turning the lights on so you'll see it's got a split charging system and these lovely led lights all the way around uh, and a few more in extra places so in the current setup you've got this large rear bench seat loads of proper storage underneath and it's all on proper push catches all the way along so you've got loads of stuff in there fishing rods or whatever you want for your camping gear same on this side all the way along really nice quality it's been professionally fitted as it hasn't been done at home uh, it's been done by a company called rated conversions if you have a look online you'll you'll see some stuff about them uh this one if we pull that open it's on sort of nice tight clasps as well so the storage in the top there uh, and then this one is all lit from the inside as well which is a really nice touch more storage down the bottom here loads and loads of storage i'm going to put the camera on a little uh tripod just for a second and we'll put the bed down and show you how that works so excuse the dodgy camera work excuse actually having a look at me on a camera that's not pleasant um but like i say this is nice and easy so pull the cushions out of the way these are just velcro back so they stay up um and we'll pop them out of the way for a second and then just the uh have the seat forward at the front just a little bit just to get a little clearance That seat forward just to get the whole thing obviously just to go full size bed in there and then that sits on this lovely little stainless tab all the way along lies nice and flat and then cushions just go back in by the way so the base goes back in there and what was the backrest comes the top off and there you go you've got your bed nice and easy <clears throat> i've got this nice big bed all your lightings on switches all led so low voltage no real draw on your charging system right have a look under the bonnet like i say later car six speed 2.4 litre tdci not the earlier td5 engines a lot more practical as a daily vehicle with that engine in you can see inner wings all lovely and clean nice standard engine it hasn't got silly exhausts or bigger turbos or anything on it Bit started up. I'd say 51,000 miles. Probably should have let the glow plugs go for a second there. 
my fault, not necessarily the car. Nice and smooth at the front. Nothing nasty flying out the back. Didn't even give a puff of smoke without me warming the glow plugs up like you should. And we'll check for warning light in here. No sign of any warning light. It's even got just over a quarter tank of diesel. And there you go. So there you have it. 110 TDCI 2009 with a camper conversion. Any questions at all, please get in touch. Thank you.